Today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite races, Aaron's 499 from 2009. What a thriller. And through my visor, of course it was a great race because I won. More so than that, this race had action-packed moments throughout. Big wrecks, tandem drafting, and of course, a crazy finish. We're going to take a look at all those moments and reflect on how this race changed racing at Talladega forever. When you think Talladega, you can't help but think about the big one. And the Aaron's 499, well, it had multiple. The first one here, lap eight, very early on in a 188 lap race. And that's me in the bottom right, just barely getting through. Let's roll the tape and see how it happened. Oh, he's, and around. he's going to the wall. Come down low, come down low, they're everywhere, good luck. Big rack on the top, Mark Martin with a huge hit in the number five. I snake through in the bottom, right through all these campers, so it looks like. But yeah, at least 10 cars. They're everywhere. Up high against the wall, in the grass. And check this out. This is me on the bottom. Just barely getting through. Didn't hit another car, but whoa, freeze right there. I hit Jeff Gordon's radiator. That's what you see flying across the track. Put a huge hole in the front of the nose. I was so fortunate to get through this. Sometimes that's just the racing luck. We had it. Damn, I can't believe I made it through that. Hell of a job, bud. Hell of a job. Well, any restrictor plate race is going to have no shortage of heart pounding moments. And this was a big heart pounding moment for me. About halfway through the race, running towards the front of the pack, I look behind me in my mirror. It's Dale Earnhardt Jr. Great. This is exactly what I need. I can work with him. We'll draft to the front and we'll take the lead. We're driving team cars with Hendrick Motorsports. Well, it didn't quite work out as planned. Let's roll the tape and take a look. Junior just jumped in behind you. You see, he'll pull up in front of David Strummy, my future car, the 12 car at Penske. It's a push. I'm going to try to block it so that it'll work with me. Oh, that didn't work out. They wanted to take the run and make the pass to get up to the front and lead. Uh, we were just a little bit off step. But more importantly than that, we ended up okay. But this was almost a lot bigger. I just barely saved this car from wrecking. Here you can see Dale I took him all the way down the yellow line and said, no, push me, don't pass me. He had other ideas. Both of us drove away, but my heart's still pounding, even to this day watching that replay. Take that 07 and just push away. In the closing laps at Talladega, you've got to make your move. In this race, I chose the tandem draft with Casey Mears with about three laps to go. We went from running in the teens to all the way up to the top 10 with just three laps left. Here we're gonna watch that, where I'm tandeming with Casey Mears and we catch Carl Edwards and we switch. Casey didn't want a tandem draft. And I had to let him go off of turn two at Talladega, pick up Carl Edwards and set up what would be an amazing finish. Here they come, look at the 99 and Brad Keselowski. Keselowski. See me back here behind Carl Edwards in the blue 99 making our way towards the front. We've got a massive run of speed with this tandem draft. First, it's Marco Sambros. Now we're going to catch David Reagan, Joey Logano, blow by them on the outside with the tandem draft. We were hauling the mail right here, over 200 mile an hour. And at this point, I thought to myself, oh my, we're going to catch the leaders. We got a chance to win this race. That's when it first hit me. And down this backstretch right here, our run was so big, no one was going to stop us. We go through three and four and we climb a little bit high just to make sure of that. I can't talk to Carl Edwards. We didn't have radios at that time that would allow us to talk to other drivers, but I could feel where he wanted to go and I was right there with him. Finally, Ryan Newman and Dale Jr. They see us coming. Ryan wants to throw a block to slow us down, but Dale Jr. doesn't go with him. That leaves the outside wide open for us to pass with just one lap to go. And there we go. Off into turn one. And now all I'm thinking to myself is, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get my first top five at Talladega. And it really wasn't until right here at the exit of turn two, when I checked my mirror and saw those guys behind me that far back, I knew I had a shot to win this race and make a move. Keep it right against you. Stay with them all the way over here to the trial though. Every gauge in my car was flashing red, over temp, over RPM. This motor can't handle it. We're gonna blow up any second. As I exited turn four, I just thought to myself, please let this engine last. You can see it blowing water out, and now the move. High, low, oh no. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to happen. I didn't want to see Carl Edwards rock a wreck, but when he threw that block to cover the yellow line so I couldn't get underneath him, there was no option. 
It was either be black flagged or go win the race. I chose to go win the race. Here's a little closer look at the move itself. First, a little move high just to get Carl off balance, then down low. Little shake and bake move here. Carl knows he's beat, but he still wants to cover it. But it's too late. I've got a fender in there. You can see I'm there. And when he turned down right here, there was no way to avoid contact without going below the yellow line. I had to make a tough choice. It's one I still think about and fans ask me about all the time. Should I have gone underneath the yellow line, avoided the wreck, and had the win taken away from me? Or make the move I had to make to win the race? It's a tough question. Not every driver is going to answer it the same way. And the results aren't always pretty. But for me, it put me in victory lane for my first career cup win at Talladega. Holy cow, did I really just win this race? I don't know what to say, guys. Can you believe it? The 2009 Aaron's 499 is in the books. What a huge day this was for me personally. My first career cup win. I never even dreamed that would happen when I entered that race that day. This was certainly one of the biggest game-changing moments in Talladega racing history. And to me, a race that will live in Talladega infamy. I can't believe we won this thing. Woo!